When I was a child, my granddad bought binoculars so we could look at the craters on the moon. But there's a side to the moon that no binoculars or telescopes could ever see. In fact, until half a century ago, no human had seen it. Now, a Chinese probe has made history, becoming the first object to make a soft landing on the far side of the moon. But how did it get there? And what is it looking for? This is Xinhua Special. I'm Roisin Timmons. Chang'e 4 was launched on December 8, 2018, from the Xichang Satellite Launch Center in southwest China. The liftoff was smooth, but that was the easy part. The Moon has a strange orbit. It rotates at about the same rate that it goes around the Earth, meaning that from our planet, we can only ever see little more than one hemisphere. Can you help me? <laughs> okay. It's like this. Go, 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 go. Okay, so I can see her from this side only, but she can see me from all sides. <laughs> and it's not just that we can't see that side, we can't communicate with it either. That's why Chuechao, a relay satellite, had to be launched months before Chang'e 4 could set off. 455,000 kilometers from the Earth, this incredibly complicated orbit allows Chuechao to see both the Earth and the far side of the Moon. With Chao in place, it was time for the big event, the landing itself. And the foundations that the engineering is built on comes from the probe's older sibling, Chang'e 3, which made China's first soft landing on the moon in 2013. 月球的面对着我们正面的一面有一个大面积的平台一个裂口而月球背面呢主要是高山然后转移到这个月球那尺寸在狗线的这个相对大一点的撞击坑里头找一些特定相对平台的位置来做这个周期就是我们可选择的
回过头来，我们地球更深入的认识。When I was a child, to look at the moon meant to look at a place I could never go. But for children turning their heads to the skies tonight, well, never say never.